ladies, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You only turn 30-something once. <laughs> <laughs> nice little 35-year-old. I don't know how long my back can do it, so... Yeah, that's true. You gotta you gotta sling peen while you can, while the while the sun's out. You gotta grow some corn. Yeah, who knows how much longer I'm gonna be able to get it up at all. Yeah, yeah. is that is that becoming an issue? Uh, I'm not sure because I drink so much whiskey, so yeah. I'm yeah. not sure if it's your me. dick should be in its prime still. It's kind of like shrinks and wanes. Yeah, <laughs> it waxes and wanes. <laughs> it's a good dick. It's seen, you know, it's seen its fair share of battle. It's fine. Yeah. Things like an alley cat. Yeah, I can. I can think. I can hang up the, the jersey. I hung up the jersey before. It came out of retirement. Nice. <laughs> like the Michael Jordan. Movie, yeah, 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 you went to the minor leagues. Yeah, played I played baseball. Yeah. That was when you were gay for a while. Yeah. And then I got a Hitler mustache and tried golf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, episode eight. Welcome back, Digital Bazooka. We're in the stew. Hey. Uh, my name is Frederick Douglas. This is uh, Truck Kitchens. My name's <laughs> Truck Kitchens today. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and a uh, guest today, uh, first timer, welcome Jay Simpson to the stew. How's it going? How yeah. are we doing? Uh, Excited. You look great. I feel good. I feel Dick's good. good. Do you find Dick's good? strong. <laughs> <laughs> Dick's strong. I'm not Asian, so that's no, best. That's nice. a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Always a win. I wake up every day and thank God. Gee, woo. <laughs> uh, I just run to the mirror like, <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I had a dream I was working in a loud kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, shout out to those guys that can flip the whole bowl of rice at once. That's crazy. That's the most impressive thing I think I've ever seen. Yeah. yeah. That might be my favorite type of comedy is a video of, like, an Asian guy with a chef hat just whipping the, <laughs> the, the rice wok while Bobby Shmurda plays. <laughs> yeah, either that or hibachi comedy. Oh yeah! Where they're like, catch shrimp, you gay, ha ha! <laughs> Ima- like, yeah, imagine having a kid like at your job that like never asks for help for homework. <laughs> they're always doing it, but they're never asking for help. Oh, they're like, I already did next year. So we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're good. I wrote out the lesson plans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you finish your homework? Like, oh, I finished uh, till college. <laughs> <laughs> Taking an SAT at six. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's all. If I have a, I don't think I'll have kids, but if I have a kid, I want 10 Chinese ones. Nice. You can get a, probably get a bundle, get a nice cheap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, you buy in bulk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard they got ladies on sale right now. Oh, yeah. They don't want those. Just grab a bunch of them things. Yeah, what do they still do that? Because in elementary school, that was, it was like when you're a girl and you're born in China, they just Kobe you into a river. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's only if, I think it's if you're the second child. Like if you're the first daughter. That's cool, but they're not allowed to have like more than two kids. So they're, like, I'm gonna like Game of Thrones rule. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna try to have two boys. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so you can have you two have, boys? You can have one gal. Okay. Yeah. And then they. Yeah, that's good. It's enough. <laughs> it's enough for some of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I mean, when they throw them in the river, they all just end up on Tinder with fake names. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I met this uh, really cute Chinese girl on uh, Tinder named PayPal. <laughs> I believe that for a second, dude. I was almost fooled. <laughs> PayPal. <laughs> Is it the L or the R? Which one can they not say? I get confused. Uh, that's a goofy language <laughs> over there. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think if... it's I think it's L's historically. They mm. they they took a series of L's in that way. Yeah, yeah three thousand yeah. characters, not one L. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I struggle with my Chinese accent, and that's one of my goals for the new year is to master that. To get it dialed in? Yeah. All right, we'll check in at the end of the year and see how, see if you can give a speech to Come back uh, to me on this. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can get you to give a speech at, like, a factory or something. Yeah. As I start doing calls, as fucking President Juntao. <laughs> <laughs> is that Rush Hour? Oh, yeah. 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 bad guy from Rush <laughs> Hour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's a good Asian name. June Tao. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that that's when they freed the slaves, right? No, it's June team. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah, cool, cool, cool. My bad, my bad, chill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, wipe all your oppression off with this June towel. <laughs> <laughs> June towel. <laughs> Celebrate your blackness with a June towel. <laughs> I just I rewatched Rush Hour one and two. Funniest movies of all time. They rule. They are good. Good so films. Fun. So funny. 
Yeah, shout out to Jackie Chan. What's that guy up to? I could spend all day watching Jackie Chan beat up goons with just whatever is around the house. <laughs> yes. Frying pans. Yeah. And just yeah. being karate MacGyver. Yeah, I could fight. I'd fight Jackie Chan in like in an open field. <laughs> oh, yeah, but like not to. with. I don't want a traffic cone up my ass. Or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It fucking turns you into a piano somehow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, if there's like uh, if if there's construction around, if there's like scaffolding, he can get on. You are so fucked. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're never gonna catch him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a wiry little guy. <laughs> he put out a, a movie not too long ago. Uh, it's basically like his taken, but he's just like an old man. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. there's one. He's like in the corner, and he like just <laughs> like <laughs> j- he's like hiding like in the corner of the ceiling. And he just jumps at like a guy. <laughs> he's like, <"Rah!" laughs> he did like a paranormal activity jump scare. <laughs> the guy just falls through a window. <laughs> <Okay>. Well, <laughs> he's got a lesbian daughter. Does he? He does. Oh uh, yeah, I think he took some flack for that because they. I I might be misremembering, but that should have been the one that he killed then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! He took, he took fucking too many chances. All right, well that's um, episode eight, everybody. That's what do we? Yeah, June <laughs> Tao. <laughs> Westland. Hey, how's it going? Good. I, I didn't catch your name. I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't say my name. Uh, just Skip. What can I do for you? Skip, what's going on, buddy? Hey, I was in there last night. Uh, I, I bowled with my cousins. Uh, rolled a two forty. Uh, NBD, but uh, I got a problem. I, uh, so I I was rolling last night, and this morning my fingers smell terrible. Is that something okay. that you guys get a lot over there? No. Okay, I thought maybe you had like a policy where there was like like some kind of like slime within the bowling hall holes, because I mean my finger there's just like a distinct putrid smell. No. Nothing that we'd have. Okay. Well, I've been I've been scrubbing and scrubbing with this like limoncello hand soap, and it hasn't made a dent. I mean, these things. Yeah, I, I that would that wouldn't be anything from us. Well, do you have anything you so. can like recommend? Because I mean, I was like I said, I rolled a 240 there last night. Bumpers were up, but I think. I mean, I mean, I got some of the best bowlers in the state bowling right now. I don't have anybody complaining. So. Do they wear like special like uh, odor? Uh, gloves? Nope. Just because, like, I figure something in there is, like, causing a stank. I, I mean, it's... So to speak. It could be... It could be you left your bowling ball outside, and it, the the inner core might have... I don't know. Something like that. Who knows? So, so you I got like nothing a, for you. Like, an inner core that has, like, a like a rotten core? Like, rotten fruit? Because that's what my fingers kind of smell like right now, is, like... Well... <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he even went to inner core is insane. Like sometimes the inner core is this way. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> he tried so hard that he was like, fuck, I don't got nothing. For a second, he was like, am I a scientist today? <laughs> it was like, oh, so like under the mantle? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's a magnitude eight of stank on my fingertips <laughs> right now. It's like, buddy, I, I hate to tell you, but I got some of the best bowlers. <laughs> <in it. laughs> the funniest flex I've ever yeah, heard yeah. in my life. Brother, I know good bowlers, and you ain't one of them. So. <laughs> you know Marcus Penn? He's here. <laughs> 240, the bumpers were up. <laughs> <laughs> we got Kyle Balls on lane. For you, <laughs> He's waiting for his fries. I got to <laughs> get over there. <laughs> Cincinnati Fats is in the building. <laughs> 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 I like the idea that bowlers all have like cartoonish names. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's no John Smiths and bowl. cartoonish bodies. Dude. <laughs> yeah. It is it's, not a physical sport. It's like the movie Dodgeball. How everyone except the main team had to have a theme. Yeah. It's like, oh, we're the cowboy ones. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's name is Gun Cactus. <laughs> that might be my next prank call. <laughs> he just shoots the pins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! I'll try to do quick draw on your pins. <laughs> so what? The speaking of scientists, do you want to talk about your uh, the new gear? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> These yeah. are the uh, the the lucid light glasses. They, uh, I'm in a different reality right now. Everything's you're, augmented. You're Andrew forever with those glasses. I am on. Andrew. I'm Andy. <laughs> Who's this I'm dweeb, dude? <laughs> dude? If I press one button on these things, I'll fly away. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta tell you. Go, go, get <laughs> Helicopter <laughs> glasses. <laughs> if there's one thing I don't fuck with, it's a pair of glasses without lasers in them. So. <laughs> Wait, can you like, is there like x-ray on it? Can you like see my skeleton? <laughs> if I want it. Yeah, that's pretty sick. No. That's pretty sick. I, I, don't, I don't know what they do. You should be staring at boobs all day. <laughs> Get into them, dude. They, they, you can make calls on them and shit. 
Yeah, thank you to everyone that's been watching Damn. the show. Thanks to your support. <laughs> Andy got space glasses. Uh, I can hear things through my eyes. <laughs> I see all your words. <laughs> it gives you subtitles. <laughs> oh, dude, subtitles would be sick, IRL. Yeah, I got to fix that. We, we watched In Bruges last night, and they're like Irish. We started and no subs, and immediately I was like, I don't know what these fuckers are on about. It's hard to first. Hard to short. Hard to short. Hard to Everyone, like, Colin Farrell sounds like Jay after four whiskeys. You're just like, ha, that's hilarious. There's a cocaine midget. Yeah, cocaine midget. Cocaine midget. It's a good movie. Cocaine midget? Cocaine midget. I got to see Cocaine Bear still. Oh, yeah, that'll be a good time. Can you get? Can you rent that on your glasses real quick? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or at least pull up. Can you pull up screen times? <laughs> <laughs> you just project it onto the wall from your glasses. Yeah, one second. <laughs> Dude, you know who's nice at bowling? Oh. I, I haven't seen it, but Shayner, he showed up to. Uh, I believe that he showed up to the club the other night, so he, and he's like stone cold sober, and they they had all been like bowling. He was with like a bunch of drunkards, and uh, I was like, "Are you? Are you like?" nice with it he was like he i was like one pin away from 300 really yes yeah. jesus he's too he's too dialed in at everything he, yeah, if i bowl like a 110 that's a really good day yeah well i got 240 last night that never happened in <laughs> that's why your fingers stink dude because <laughs> you're full of shit dude nice you got shit fingers dude <laughs> kobe kobe who fucking horace grant dude <laughs> horace grant uh, jay you ever hit the lanes yeah, I'm actually not too bad. Not too bad. I got the form down because you gotta, remember you got to get the leg behind. You got to stand like a not a curtsy kind, of. oh, like a gay eat. jester. Yeah, yeah like yeah. A, how do you do? You got to do the swan. <laughs> like, I've seen I've seen people like that just chuck it down the lane like that, and I was like, that's not good for your back at all. Yeah, my brother is the fucking asshole that throws the ball too high. Like he wants to crack the lane. <laughs> that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I blow my elbow out every time I go bowling, so I don't love bowling. It's not my thing, dude. Yeah, and you have to you have to like uh, not let anyone see the number on your ball. What do you mean? Like the number corresponds with how much it weighs, and I'm using like the nine. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you gotta pick it up and be like, you got the fifteen. We're, <laughs> we're adults here, dude. We don't have that problem actually. Dude, it, the hard part is finding a tiny, like a white ball with dude, huge finger nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I bowled a nine, I would do fucking windmills. <laughs> with it. Speed that thing up. Excuse me, Sam. Hi. Um, you guys do uh, guitar repairs and everything like that, right? Absolutely, yes. Awesome. So uh, I was doing a, uh, a Philadelphia DIY show last night. And I was the only acoustic act on an all-metal show. Uh, I've been for a band called Leaves Turned Over. Uh, they're pretty. They're, I thought they were pretty righteous, but um, it turns out I think that somehow somebody took uh, defecated into my body. What? Yeah. Um, Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna want to mess with a guitar like that. I I know. I, I try to like shake it around like to get a pick out. Yeah, and uh, I I don't know how they got it through the strings. I don't know. Um, it's like, I, don't, I don't know, yeah. man. You you need to you need to you know do something. I don't know what to suggest for something like that. I mean, that's the weirdest thing I ever heard of in my life. Yeah, just because like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm acoustic and I'm sensitive and I have, you know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, in other words, they were kind of like, yeah, I got you, I understand. I mean, that's yeah. that's that's way uncool. Yeah. Way uncool. Way uncool. I mean, what are you trying to? What are you calling me for to figure out what to do about it? Yeah, like, I, am I mashing more wood into it? You know what I mean? Like, I'll get it out of there, of course. You know, I mean, I don't know what to say. Yeah, my guitar um, case stinks pretty bad. Um, man, 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 that's a shame. What kind of guitar was it? It's Martin. A good Martin or a Mexican? It was a Mexican one. Wait, the the turd or the guitar? <laughs> Come on, I don't know. Uh, no, they were. Uh, yeah, Lee's turned over is actually an all Mexican thrash band, so that's crazy that you said that. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh yeah, yeah, that's kind of weird too. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I, I have no idea what to suggest in something like that. You know, maybe call a sanitizing company or something. You know, because that's not that's definitely not up my alley. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I mean, I tried like I even tried like chopsticks to get it out. 
Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know, man. It's really it's like it's so embarrassing to even like call like about something like this. Like I don't you know I don't even I called my mom. That was the first. Well, you know what you know what me me, you know I gotta you know I gotta tell you something. What might be a smart thing to do is let it dry out so it hardens up. Might be easier to get out. Don't wet it. Try try because if you wet it, you're gonna spread it. Maybe just try to let you try. You know how turds will dry up when you let them sit. I, I'm familiar with turds. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I, I'm just saying. It, it seems to me that if you let it dry out or harden up, and it might be easier to get out of there, because because otherwise you're going to be just spreading it. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, 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 I play, good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm familiar with Thurs. He just dropped an age old adage on you. If you wet it, you spread it. <laughs> you gotta let it dry. <laughs> let it dry out first. <laughs> I got. I have a gig tonight. I don't have time to let this dirt dry. <laughs> oh wow! That guy rules. <laughs> that guy was awesome, dude. Leave it in the sun, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he worked at every store. <laughs> oh my god! You say what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> let it dry out. Dude. <laughs> What'd you say? A mu- is it a good Martin <laughs> you know, or a Mexican Martin? You know, like the turd or the <laughs> <laughs> Mexican turd. <laughs> That's great. Um, they were farting into my Martin. <laughs> they farted in my Martin. <laughs> I'm familiar with turds. <laughs> 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 Yes, I'm familiar with the life cycle of a turd. <laughs> like, you know how a turd dries out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is way Don't. not cool. <laughs> Don't wet it. Was it a gremlin? <laughs> yeah, don't feed it after midnight. Don't put it in the microwave. <laughs> oh, God. That guy was awesome. That ruled. Every week this is the most fun I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, it continues to get better. Oh, I I didn't think... I, I didn't know how that could be fun, but that guy ruled. Yeah. <laughs> that guy was just... Yeah, musicians are usually cool people when they're not shitting in your guitar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, turned o- Is that a real band? No, Leaves Turned Over. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was the worst band name a drummer I had pitched of all time. <laughs> that I was like, the game thing name sucks so hard. <laughs> Would use it as a joke later. Yeah, <laughs> Leaves Turned Over? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I could see it on a lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> Oh, damn. What a good time. Andy, did you ever try and start a band? Yeah, Celestial Objects. Yeah? Solid band name, right? That's a good name. Yeah. So I like that. I, uh, I knew how to play um, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Yeah, it's a classic. And uh, that's about all I got in my guitar my guitar knowledge. I've heard you rip. You did like uh, Hey There Delilah for me once. No, probably not that one. Yeah. I do know. I know like a G. Yeah. I know a G when I see one. <laughs> it's from G. <laughs> Maybe it's a D. One of the ones that you got three fingers. G's up, A's down. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm out now, dude. I'm out. Uh, That's cool. Celestial bodies, I like. Dude, I... Celestial objects. Oh, that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is That worse. could be anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. I thought, uh, I thought I came up with the coolest band name ever, uh, but it turned out they're already a very successful... I thought I came up with the band name Senses Fail. <laughs> I was yeah, like, dude, this famous. is so badass. <laughs> it's like, oh, they've been torn for like 70 years. Rats. Yeah. Hmm. The yeah. Rolling Stones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to shit in their guitars. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to get satisfaction. <laughs> Hi, I'm coming down now, waiting on the elevator. Hey, Quell, this is Peter Hodges from Q93. You've just won a weekend getaway with Lil Bow Wow. What? Yeah, your your coworkers submitted you for the contest. You just won a weekend getaway with Lil Bow Wow. What coworker did this? J- James, I think. Who? Jay? James? James? I don't have a James. Maybe maybe a Jay? Well, the Jay point. Where? I don't know. The point is, you're going on a weekend getaway with Lil Bow Wow. All all expenses included. Just you and Lil Bow Wow on a private island. 
Chat, tell Jay to send that to you. can send that to me in an email because I'm about to kick his little ass. Well, you're on the air right now. What do you have to say oh. to Jay? Jay, I'm going to kick your little ass. Are you excited to get away with Will Bow Wow? Yes, I am. Nice. What are you and Bow Wow going to do? We probably just depends if he take me on his arm, if he finally got that private jet or not. <laughs> Hilarious. Huh? Quell, do you, do you have any words for Lil Bow Wow? He's listening in now. About your private jet, though, I play around, though, but I'm serious, though. I ain't trying to be catching coach if we're talking about doing to a private island. I ain't playing now. All right, well, pack your bags. You're leaving tonight. Oh, I can't leave tonight, baby. The flight's already booked. Bow Wow's on his way. Oh, then I guess I'm going to miss it then because I ain't seen, I can't leave tonight, baby. What are we going to do? I don't even know what Bow Wow, I don't even know what Bow Wow at. I ain't got no confirmation, no passport, no nothing. He ain't said no information. Yeah, it's a surprise. What's in it to, what time the plane leaving? And where yeah. it's leaving from? Philadelphia tonight, 7 o'clock. Okay, I'm going to get an email confirmation. No. Oh, then, uh-uh, I don't trust that. You don't get no email confirmation. You know they be killing people? You know uh, they be over there human trafficking and stuff like that, too? And y'all ain't going to send no... Lil Bow Wow from Like Mike. I he would, doesn't do that. I wouldn't care if it was Lil Oopy. You need to send an email confirmation and stuff. That way people know what the hell they're going at. Well, how else am I going to surprise you? You can surprise me, but you can follow up in an email confirmation. All right, all right, I'll send the email. Philadelphia Airport, 7 o'clock tonight. You and Lil Bow Wow. Get get your, get your bikinis ready. We're going to fucking wax that thing up, and you and Bow Wow are going to have a good time. All right, now, as long as I get that email confirmation. All right, baby. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what an idiot. Some people are just ungrateful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, fuck. We got to do an email show now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got to get her email and just say confirmed Lil Bow Wow. <laughs> it's just a JPEG of Lil Bow. Or J just just send her a picture of Lil Wayne. <laughs> it's a picture of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's Joe Biden falling up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> this will be you at 7 o'clock at the Philadelphia airport. Yes, that is Lil Bow Wow's private jet. <laughs> oh, shit, people are getting killed, traffic. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> I don't know why in my head I thought that was going to be so much better. <laughs> it's really good. She got excited at first. Congratulations. You were screaming. <laughs> I know, I was trying to do my radio voice, dude. It was so good. You gave up on it a bit. You were like, <laughs> you're like why? <laughs> <laughs> Radio voice sucks. <laughs> From like Mike, he don't do that. <laughs> no traffic people like that. It's not even him. He ain't into that. <laughs> it's private. <laughs> 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 I'm waiting for her to call me and be like, "You son of a bitch! Who they call me by little bow wow for?" Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, just text her and be like, "I heard you on the radio. <laughs> Congrats <laughs> for the little bow wow." <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh god, you <laughs> sounded great on there. Thank you, thank you so much. No, she sounded great on the uh, radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude, let's get back to it. We're having a, a rip roaring time right now. It's too much fun. This should be illegal. This should be illegal. It this is, is illegal. illegal. <laughs> <laughs> this is against the law. Phone fraud. <laughs> We're going to get arrested by the phone police. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but what am I going to do? Not hang up? <laughs> Don't hang up. I'm trying to put you in handcuffs. And I was like, well, I wouldn't have to call you if you would answer my texts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's do it. Oh, hold up. Is that her? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi. What you doing? I'm sleeping. What's going on? Like a year ago. Why? About a year ago? Yeah. Did you put my name in it? Yeah, it was just like like you know, you put one in and then you can put in a friend or something like that. Yeah. It was like 
Are you serious? You won? Wait, the you won the little bow wow trip? That was real? Well, are you gonna go? I'm over here in Miami. Ain't no way in hell I'm be able to go. Ah, oh, damn, that sucks. That's like a weekend with little Bow Wow, though. What the hell are we gonna do? We the same damn height. I don't know. You could. I don't. And he, and he still ain't no damn body. I don't give a damn. Even back then when he was light night, he wasn't no damn body. I mean, he's not little Bow Wow anymore. He's big Bow Wow. I'm Oh, that's yeah. You don't know what little Bow Wow got. He might have some big Bow Wow problems. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure little Bow Wow is clean. Yeah, I mean, it's not like you're talking about like Romeo or something. It's a little powwow. Like Omar, I would say like Omarion. You're definitely catching something. Yeah, then you break Bow Wow off. You know what I mean? He wouldn't know what hit him. <laughs> I have to be named that for a phone call now. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to go back to sleep. Go on back to sleep. I'm about to sit there because he's talking about he going to email me the, the confirmation to go to Lil Bow Wow. Jesus. Lil, ba Lil Bow Wow Isle. I can't believe you. Sign me up for some Lil Bow Wow Isle private island. I thought it was like, you know who would really like a vacation on a private island? Fucking quell. The little bow wow part is just a like the cherry on top. Yeah, that's why his ass gonna be on the other side of the alley. I'm gonna be in a thing. I just told him I said make sure his private jet is real though. Cause I ain't be stuck on that goddamn alley with his fake ass private jet now. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure a private jet doesn't have a coach section. You did listen to? I know you did. <laughs> wait, no, you brought up the wait. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, no, I would assume that his jet, like a private jet, doesn't have coach. <laughs> I love you, Glow. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that just made it 10 times better. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted the whole time. <laughs> that was ideal. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere with no damn bow wow. We the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do nothing for me. That's great. You're answering the phone with like called in sick voice. Yeah. Oh, what? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Lil what? No. Bow wow. Oh, you mean Lil Bow Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know Lil. Yeah. I think he goes by Big Bow Wow. Yes. <laughs> like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Oh. <sighs> God Show bless rules. lying to people. Oh, that's so funny. It's the sweetest treasure in this life. It's just, it's just deceiving. Just being a snake in the grass. I can't wait to show her that. <laughs> so good. She's going to come on the show now. We'll get her a... I wonder if we can get her a cameo from Lil Bow Wow. <laughs> hey, just so disappointed you couldn't make it to my private <laughs> island. <laughs> Keep this going for months. It's like, where, where, I waited for you. It's just a little bow wow at the airport with a sign that says Quell. He's on the island playing tennis. <laughs> Wish you were here. You're just serving from tennis and it's never coming back to him. Oh, wow. Hello? Whoa, hey. Hey, brother. Hey. Hey.
Hey, real quick, I, I'm running into a conundrum here. I was water skiing and fishing at the same time earlier. I'm hooked on a marlin. Uh, I, I'm out of control right now. What would you recommend? Uh, oh, what's the best course of action with the marlin while water skiing? Yes. Uh, you just got to keep dragging them, and then Jaws comes up, kind of like uh, in Jaws Part 3. I believe I've one. never seen any of these things you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the Jaws uh, 3 He's rule. Jumping. Yeah. He's jumping. He's um, jumping. There you go. Yep. You just got to tire him out a little. Every time he jumps, he catches a breath. Well, he I don't breathe want... there. He breathes that. What are you talking about? That's why when he's jumping, he's getting breaths of air. What the hell? Oh, yeah, yeah. Have you, uh, does called, this happen a lot? Farm, it's the wind farm logic. It's the same thing as the people protesting the wind farm. They think the dolphins breathe the water. I can't be the first one this has happened to, correct? Uh, No, no, actually, it's a common thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you're the guy that we needed for this. <laughs> Hold on, all right, I just exactly. waved. Hope, hope um, that helps. Just keep going. Jaws will take care of him soon. Okay, thank you. Yep. It's some solid fishing advice. Some real good fishing advice. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I guess. A, I'm upset by how quickly he was like, yep, I get what's <laughs> going on here. <laughs> yeah, it's a normal Sunday for me. Fan of the show. <laughs> He's like, Jet skis, Marlin, got it. <laughs> You're getting dragged, aren't you? <laughs> Let me guess, he's jumping. Yeah, he's going to start jumping soon. <laughs> Take a deep breath, he's going to start jumping in a minute. <laughs> it's called the wind tunnel effect or whatever. <laughs> the he wind farm effect. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's the fisherman I want by my side. So that's someone that's prepared for anything. Yeah. He cannot be shaken. So it doesn't matter. It's a good captain. That's who you want commanding a ship. You know I mean? That's what you want in charge. Just starting a phone call with like, whoa! Cowabunga! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy was fun. That was the first call we ever did that had sound effects on it. Yeah, see, we're moving up in the world, dude. The budget's gone crazy. <laughs> the budget's gone nuts. <laughs> we got sound effects and space We put classes. a phone next to a fucking speaker. Ooh. <laughs> It is fucked up. We're doing this the same way that we did in sixth grade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, well, well, that one's been 12 months in planning and kind of stuck the landing on that one. Yeah, dude. I mean. He did the thing. He was like, it's like the movie Jaws. Yeah, I was like, don't. Fu- I hate when people bring up movies that I haven't seen, dude. <laughs> I haven't seen Jaws 3. I don't know. Yeah. That's was there a scene in Jaws 3 where a guy was hooked on a marlin? <laughs> what the fuck's he talking about? Jaws, I mean, Jaws 3 was in 3D. So that Marlin's coming right at you. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be, yeah. About to get punctured. Shout out to 3D movies. We need more of those. Steve and Buster's Gloucester Township. How can I help you? Hi, my name's Larry Kame. Uh I represent a client. Um, he just got accepted on America's Got Talent. Okay. okay. And, uh, yes, uh, he's going in for dancing, but I think he needs a little more... Um, instruction really to get him through the next round because we want him to win this thing. We have uh, the utmost faith in him. Um, we were wondering if we could come in and use your Dance Dance Revolution machine to help him learn how to dance. I would definitely say so. Um, give me one second. Did you want like a whole crew in here? Like is it something I should have a manager talk to you about? I mean we would probably have lights, cameras. Um, we would have definitely have the whole thing catered by you as well and definitely um we were wondering if we'd be able to use the machine like free of charge because we don't want to keep you know putting dollars in it every single time. So if there's like a a free play or anything my client can do. Okay, um, like, give me one second. I'm gonna put a manager on the phone. They'll be able to uh, give you more information about that. That sounds wonderful. Hi, this is Mike. Can I help you? Sorry, I was on the other line with my client. Okay. Sorry. Hi, uh, this is Larry Kane. Um, I represent a client. He's uh, about to be on America's Got Talent. Mm-hmm. And um, basically, he's doing a whole dance number, and we need a place to practice his Dance Dance Revolution skills. Okay. And we were wondering if we could have that whole section blocked off, no one in or out, for about four hours so we can really get these dance moves down. Because we want him to win the competition, of course. Okay. So anything like that would have to go through my corporate office. Uh, we, don't, we don't allow anything like that. 
uh, unless it's approved by corporate. Okay. I mean, he's a real underdog. So I mean, okay. everyone loves an underdog story, right? Yes, of course. Uh, but I mean, like he's I said, like. I, 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 I can't allow it unless I talk to my corporate office. So if you give me all your information, I'll be more than happy to pass it on to them. Absolutely. Um, do you mind if I ask just a few questions about the DDR machine itself? I, okay. I don't know uh, if I can answer them. I'm, I'm just a manager. I don't really deal with the machines that often. But uh, I was wondering, um, is there like a weight limit on the machines? Like, no. I, don't, I mean, he's, he's a pretty big guy, and I don't want to know if like, you, like, who was the, who's the biggest person you've seen on there. I, I don't even – I mean, we've never had a problem, so, I mean, I, I can't imagine that there's any problems. I mean, like, 450? Like, this guy can – like, the fact that he can move his legs at all. Okay. Like I said, what, you know what? Why don't I give you my email, and you can email me all your information, and I can pass it on to my corporate marketing department. Because, like I said, they're, they're the ones that are going to be – have to decide where, when and where. Okay, okay, yeah. Um, they, they start filming in uh, by the end of the month, so I would need to know as soon as possible. I mean, like, yeah, he's really, like, pushing, like, 500. Okay. So, okay. It's, so it's wheelchair accessible. We would need a ramp onto the machine. Yeah, so, I mean, I, that, again, that's all stuff that corporate would have to talk to you about. Like, okay. I mean, we definitely don't have a ramp for for the machine. Okay. So, I mean, we have – obviously, the whole building is wheelchair accessible. Uh, I do know there's a bit of a step up into uh, – onto the thing. Yeah, I mean, usually but, we just have but, I, but two guys. But it's not guys. like steps or anything like that. I mean, it's it's just – it's probably like maybe three or four inches because okay. it is on a platform. Okay, yeah, because we usually just have uh, one guy on either okay. side of him. Okay. So, and then, like, they hold him up, and then he okay. tries his okay. best to move his legs. Okay, so it's Sunday lunch. I'm incredibly busy, so I'm going to give you my email address. Okay. And you can email me any any information you have, questions you have, and I will be more than happy to forward it to my What are your specials? Do you have any specials? Okay. I, I really have to go. Do you understand? I'm going to say this one more time. I really have to go. Okay. So you're missing out on a great opportunity. Okay. Do you want my email address? Uh, yes. I, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'll, okay. let me, I'll take it down. Uh, let me put you on hold real quick. Okay. I, I cannot be put on <laughs> <laughs> Let me put you on hold real quick. Young. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Just not letting him get out the email address. He's so busy. He's so, so busy. <laughs> He's like, it's Sunday, it's lunch, chill. <laughs> the fact that he can even move his legs at all. It's a miracle. <laughs> I feel like I've never seen it be a problem. I was really hoping he'd have an answer for what's the heaviest yeah, guy you've the, seen. Yeah, who's the biggest person you've seen on the oh, yeah, You're going to want to talk to Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 big big gal, bigger moves. She's got, she, she'll get down. She's got the moves, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> At some point, he knew it was a joke, but he was also trying to remain serious as a manager. Just like, in case. He's like, no, it doesn't. You can't get a wheelchair on it. But the building is wheelchair accessible, of course. It's, <laughs> it's like backtrack. He's, professional. <laughs> He's professionally annoyed. <laughs> oh, God. That's so <laughs> funny. That was a good one. <laughs> With America's Got Talent. <laughs> Just the big guy that likes teeth. <laughs> he breathes funny. <laughs> Call him all wheezy. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so he funny. didn't give a fuck about that. No, I don't know. Was... Even when they try to put you on the corporate. What about the little guy? Well, you, you seem like yeah. a you seem like a competent individual. Yeah, you yeah. Know? You're a manager. So yeah, what are yeah. you talking about? Take charge. Are you a man? Don't put me on with the fat cats. I've got the fattest cat right here. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna win. Trying. America's gonna talent. He's gonna get out of his wheelchair. <laughs> and he's gonna do the electric slide for all of you. <laughs> We're going to hold him up. <laughs> moves his legs somehow. Somehow. We have no idea how. Getting help to the dances. So <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this was, uh, this has been maybe my favorite episode. Stuck the landing. This is fun. It's a good one. Yeah. Uh, jet ski, Marlin, little bow wow, stinky fingers. <laughs> <laughs> 
what else? And, and a Martin guitar. <laughs> drying oh, out, dude, drying out a turd in a Martin. <laughs> don't forget dude. about it, the dry turds. Damn, we got all the coolest guys except for that guy. That guy can suck shit. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it. He's just a corporate tool, man. Yeah, man. Um, Jay, thank you so much for coming to do mm. Digi Bazooka. Thank man. you for having me. This is uh, fucking a blast. Knocked it out. Super cool. Time. You're you're the man. Uh, anything you want to plug? Anything you got coming up? Uh, I'm everywhere, man. Just sh- follow me on Instagram. All my shows are there. I'm blowing up. It's getting. I'd be like, <laughs> it's like ten new Instagram followers a day. Damn. And that's Jeez. like that's like some serious numbers. We're doing numbers. Yeah. They're o. All, J. Simpson. They're all porn bots, but they're <laughs> still coming in, dude. You're gonna have your own Dave and Buster soon. <laughs> yeah. I'm just put me on the phone with Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, Space Cadet Andy. Oh, thank you. It was fun. Do rag in the deer tag. I've heard of that. It's a good time. Should be a good time. Yeah, man. It's, it's doing all right. The, I mean, the, the numbers are falling off. Uh, everyone's hating in the comments. Oh, They're coming wait. to Digi Bazooka. On the last episode of Digital Bazooka, someone said, uh, you know, Rob's like power cupping his dick the whole time. Talking about me, I think he thought I was Rob, but I was d- doing this the whole time. <laughs> what, right? in the comments? Yeah, in the comments. Nice. I had hand on peen the whole episode. Yeah, you do look like Rob. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we do We do have the same uh, general thing going on. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that... Um, Shout out to all the, the dynamo- or Bazooka Dynamite fans out there. <laughs> yeah, dude, if you're supporting dis- Bazooka Dynamite... <laughs> you shooting dynamite out of that thing? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. No, I, I appreciate it, gang. We'll uh, see you next week, same time. Boo! Bye.